Hello and welcome to another Calypso video. This is about the automatic, time-controlled half-page turning. This allows you to focus on your playing in a concert, so you don't have to worry about turning the pages at all, but at least less often. Half-page turning can run automatically. This means that Calypso turns the pages for you in a time-controlled manner. Since you can always see an area of your current notes to be played with the half-page layout, the timing is not nearly as critical. So it doesn't have to be scrolled to the second. As with auto layout, time-controlled page turning can also be started acoustically. That means you just start playing and thereby start the automatic turning of the pages. For this demo, let's first look at the edited layouts in edit mode. Since we don't need it a capo for 4 Elise, this is our last layout, in which we can also see parts of page 3 in addition to the end. By the way, if we scroll forward from this currently shown layout to the first one, Calypso takes a shortcut and animates the first page from the left. The editing info indicates that this layout has no time value yet. We already suspect what that means. In order to enable time-controlled page turning, we have to teach Calypso these time values. To do this, we end the editing mode, and then select the appropriate action in the menu. This opens the acoustic starter that initiates this learning process as soon as you play your instrument. Alternatively, you can also start this teaching by scrolling forward, either with a foot switch or by tapping on the notes. Once we've started the learning process, Calypso measures the time until the next page flip. These are usually times from around half a minute. For this demo, however, we always turn the page after just a few seconds. At the top, we see a progress bar that let us know that we are in the process of teaching Calypso the times. With each page turn, this bar advances, eventually reaching its full width on the final layout. To complete this learning process, we just scroll back at the last layout, after we finish playing the song. That's it! Calypso now knows the times for automatic page turning. Of course, we want to see this in action right away. Here, too, the acoustic starter appears, with which we start the automatic page turning. Sure, we can of course also use the foot switch to start again. As we can see, a progress bar appears again, which becomes more conspicuous due to its color, the closer it gets to the right edge. So this bar makes it clear, when Calypso will turn the page. Let's just watch this to the end. Calypso has now stopped automatic page turning on this last layout. Now let's go back to the first page and then look at the times in edit mode. This means that this layout will be active for 12 seconds before animating to the next layout. It's 4 seconds for the second page layout, then 6, 5, and another 6 seconds for the penultimate layout. The last layout shows that it will run for 4 seconds and then the automatic page turning will stop. We can edit a layout's active time by reteaching it. We want to use the first layout as an example. This currently has an active time of 12 seconds. 
With the layout we want to change, we call up the learning process again from the menu, and trigger the starter acoustically or scroll forward to start. After the desired time, we finish the learning process by scrolling backward. The time, from forward scrolling to backward scrolling, is our new active time for the currently visible layout. If we now, look again at the active time of the first layout in edit mode, we see that it has actually changed. In order to start automatic page turning, we don't necessarily have to go through the menu. We can also start this by double tapping, or long tapping in the notes. Exactly the same as with auto layout. Just like auto layout, double tapping starts half page scrolling instantly, while tap and hold, brings up the acoustic starter. If we switch half page turning off, a long press will start the auto layout. The acoustic starter will then also show the timeline. For comparison, we switch back half page turning on. Here's the acoustic starter again, but this time, without the timeline. For a final note, let's start our half page layout again. When the auto page turning is running, and we scroll back, the current layout will restart. This resets the progress bar, and thus, also the active time of this layout. On the other hand, if we scroll forward, it immediately animates to the next layout. And when we scroll back twice, in short intervals, it actually activates the previous layout. This means, that scrolling back just once, restarts the current layout, and scrolling back twice, animates to the previous layout, so you really scroll back. That's it again. Here is a brief summary of the most important points. Learning the active times can only be started, via the menu. By scrolling back to the last layout, you end the teaching. If instead, you continue to scroll, and only end the learning process at the first layout, then the automatic scrolling will be repeated endlessly in a loop. Automatic page turning is started and stopped in the same way as auto layout, a double tap starts it immediately, and a long tap brings up the acoustic starter. If the automatic page turning is currently running, you can restart the current layout by scrolling back. Only by scrolling back twice, does Calypso animate to the previous layout, thus actually scrolling back in the notes. And scrolling forward, immediately goes to the next layout and starts its timer. Thanks for watching.